My name is Keely Powell and I work for Osprey's and Community as Participation Officer. In primary school is probably when I realised how competitive I was um, and from there I literally carried on in everything I did. Um, I tried a couple of sports because I knew I always wanted to play for Wales. I tried cricket, um, which I played at a decent standard, same as football. Um, and then I came across rugby and, and that was the one that stuck out for me. I then moved on to play for the local rugby club, which was Lancaster RFC. Um, I then played there until I was 12, but unfortunately, obviously, girls couldn't play um, with the boys much longer, so I had to try and find a girls team. I went for about a year without a girls team um, because I couldn't find one. Um, and then I was lucky enough to find where we are today, um, Pencoid RFC. During my time at the club, um, I was lucky enough to play for Osprey's under 18s. I managed to gain my first cap after a couple more struggles through injury. Um, I managed to get my first cap playing in Ireland. Um, that moment literally gives me goosebumps thinking about it. Like it's something I've wanted my whole life, like since I started playing. Um, and to finally get there and know that all my hard work and all the sacrifices I made along the way were, were definitely worth it. And when I started playing for Wales Sevens, um, I was lucky enough. I was 18 when I went to the Senior Commonwealth Games. So again, that was a, another massive experience. Um, being in a village with all the other athletes from like diving, so like the likes of Tom Daly. Um, going to breakfast with them in the morning was like pretty fantastic and a dream come true like you don't ever expect that when I was playing here for example I didn't never thought I would be in a, um, a competition as high level as that um, so when I got there it was one of the most heartfelt things I've ever felt. All of what I've achieved um, definitely wouldn't have been possible if it hadn't, be, hadn't been for the Ospreys under 18s programme. The coaching we had there was it was top class like the, some of the stuff that we did back then, I still remember now, the little key points of stuff in defence and attack. Um, it's really credit to the coaches and the medical staff and everyone involved um, in that programme to, to give me that opportunity to be where I am now and I'm really grateful for that. Despite my struggles throughout rugby, um, I've had lots of memorable moments, like obviously picking up the ball for the first time in uh, Lantris and Primary and then another one would probably be my Ospreys career. like. One night turned up that training session and there weren't any girls there. Um, oh, I didn't think it was going to turn out very well. Um, but then the two years I had after that of winning the championship twice in a row, like that was amazing to be playing with all my friends at the time. Like rugby's my life, so my mates are all my friends I've got within rugby basically. Um, so that was probably another another nice moment of mine. To be a professional rugby player has always been my dream job. Um, I remember having an interview last year and I spoke about my dream job not existing to be a professional rugby player um, and it's, it's been tough to deal with I guess over the years since I started playing rugby and realising that I wanted to play for Wales and I wanted it to be my career like just like the men. Um, with the recent news of the 12 Welsh contracts for the, for the women's team um, I think it's fantastic like it now shows that my dream job does exist um, and I will continue to aspire to, to get that um, and to get there like all the hard work I've put in over the years and all the training sessions with Ospreys, with you, um, in my primary school and stuff, like it'll, it'll all be worth it eventually. Um, and, and the same for any other girl who's, who's just picking up a rugby ball or who's a bit later on in life and, and now realise that they actually want to, to be a rugby player. It's never too late um, to, to get involved. Um, again, with the under 18 starting back up, it's a great opportunity for every one of them to continue their journey on and push on to that elite level of sport.